What's happening people? Welcome to the vlog. So there's a lot has happened from the last vlog you've seen. I was back home in Glasgow and now I'm in Thailand and I just had to quarantine in a hotel for 10 days. So, I'm going to show you a little quick tour of this apartment and then I'm going to show you the new hotel, what that's like and there'll be a wee workout involved in there as well. So, this is a hotel as you walk in the door. The door's right there. We've got lots of rubbish so I'm going to show you the floor. We've got this kind of wee bit right here. Mirrors, suitcases there. Little desk, both our windows. We have a nice big huge toilet, toilet there, sink, big huge mirror, shower, nice stuff. And then we have the kind of two beds, they're very messy, we've got a wee lot of breeze sitting there as well. And um, because this is our last day and we're just about to leave. All the other stuff, fridge, kettle, TV. So, somewhat basic room but quite a decent size if I show you how big it is. From here, you see it's a pretty big space. But yep, that's it. It's our bin bags because we've used a lot of rubbish. I just dropped another bottle of water. But anyway, we're getting out of here. Welcome to the vlog. We're in Bangkok, city in Thailand. So today's video is going to be mostly a vlog. I'm going to show you my tips for training the chest to get the most growth from your chest training. Because I know that's something people usually struggle with. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. So, breakfast right, first meal of the day. And basically, see because we're traveling about, it's pretty hard to get in a lot of protein, right? So what I'm trying to think about for my breakfast is to get as much protein in as possible. Now, I'm waiting on two egg white omelets coming out. So they've got roughly, say, about three to four egg whites in them. So I'll roughly guess the calories on that and I'll take it by two. So I've got eight egg whites, essentially. Then for there, I'm getting, this is like sliced ham. I put some honey over it. And these are pork sausages. Now, this is going to have a wee bit of protein. This is maybe going to have a wee bit of protein as well, mostly fat. And then from there, and then for there, I'm just going to use that as a rough ballpark. Roughly calculate the protein probably about, say, 50 to 70 grams we came to have it all. And that'll be the start of the day for getting protein in. So, hopefully you enjoyed the intro. So what I'm going to do just now is I'm actually going to show you a little, um, a little vlog I made on my phone, right? Not a vlog, an edit I made on my phone. Um, because basically the day before, we went to to visit some temples, some Buddhist temples um, in Bangkok. So I'm going to show you that right now. So, welcome back. Um, so basically now, it's time to go and hit the gym. Ah, oh, that wee bit of my hair's annoying me. We've got to go hit the gym um, and get in the workout. So, little tip for going and training. If you can't be asked, got to train. Put on tunes for like 15 minutes, obviously upbeat ones, listen to them. Get up, dance about, get in the fucking mood and you'll have a good session. I always like having a wee dance when I'm in the gym anyway. So, get good tunes on and the workout will be sick. Let's go get into this workout and I'll show you some tips on how to get big ass titties. What's happening people? So, trying a new camera setting to try and shoot on, so please forgive because it's shit. But you know what, I'll try to learn. Try to improve these camera skills. So right now, just about just getting into my workout. Got to start with the first exercise. Focus on getting that chest popping, right? So basically the kind of main aim with this is, again, getting most checked out. Chest activation, well training your chest because that's what you want to grow, right? Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to try and pre-exhaust the pecs first before we go into any pressing movements and the reason for this is basically to fatigue them so then when they're working in the pressing movements you can feel your chest working much more but yeah, you can actually use a lighter weight and it'll still feel as hard to the pecs as well and um, pretty ideal setup we've got right now, I've got full gym to myself from the hotel so it's pretty sick so, yeah. 
let's go get into this. in this edit because when I'm doing the flies I'm going to bring up and squeeze at the top for a little second and then come back down and pause at the bottom for a second this is just going to take all the momentum out of the movement and make sure the tech is doing all the work Just finished the workout and now it's time to get some post workout food right so two important rules for a post workout of course number one is protein I would say a meal 25 to about 40 grams is should be enough if you want to get more that's perfectly fine and then carbs of course you want carbs in there now if you're an advanced kind of lift on you know this sort of shit I would say try and reduce the fat intake of your post workout meal Reason being the carbs will get into your system quicker, whereas the fats will slow down the digestion of that. So try and go for like kind of clean carbs, low fat, high protein, and you'll have optimal recovery for growing some muscle. Right, what's happening troops? So I want to quickly address um, something else as well, right? So first thing I tried to alter the video editing skills a wee bit. Let me know how that fucking um, natural edit was. Did you like that? Did you not like that? Etc. etc. right? Then, next thing I want to kind of address, right, is something I seen one of my clients say and a survey I put out, and it was basically talking about body dysmorphia. Now, I think, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people who go to the gym, young guys especially, probably go through this sort of issue. Let me just shut this door because they're phoning for room service. So basically, if you don't know, body dysmorphia is maybe seeing yourself is small when you've been going to the gym for, say, for example, five years and you're no small, right? or maybe you're seeing yourself as fat, even though you are like lean, right? So, this comes for a lot of things, and I think the main one being um, social media, right? So basically, you see all these like super, super ripped physiques online, and people with like amazing physiques, and you look at yours and think, fuck man, I'm never near that, my physique is shit, I'm not as ripped as that, I'm not as big as that, whatever it may be, right? And it's hard, to get over this, right? Because it's all in your head. You're not telling people about this. And I mean, you're saying people, oh, I don't feel as big in their lat. No, you're big, but it's all in your head. So, to deal with body dysmorphia, right? Now, I'm no expert on this, but I'll just give you my kind of advice, right? So, I, this is something I would say I've potentially suffered with. It's never been a major issue, but something I've always kind of thought, oh, I'd be lean up, I'd be bigger, blah, 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 blah. And I think, I think the fitness industry in general does that to people, and just because you see these people at the best of the best. Now, right now, this is me. Just finished the gym with a pump, but I'm no tense my abs. Look, this is my, my stomach relaxed. I don't have any lines. I've been 
not tracking for the last month. I'm not as lean as I usually would be. Um, and I've not trained in a week, so I'm about a week into training after no training for about 20 days. So I'm by nowhere near my most optimal physique. Um, and it's easy to look at yourself and think, oh man, I could have been here, I could have been there, whatever it may be, right? And I find this issue also goes on when you're bulking or getting lean. When you're trying to get leaner, you feel small, and when you're trying to bulk, you feel chubby, right? And you just need to get yourself out of the mindset of looking at your mirror, looking at your physique every second of the day, thinking, I'm not this, I'm not this, I'm not this. Right? Your physique is only going to look its absolute best in pictures at certain points of the day. Um, so try and not get yourself caught up too much and just always looking at your physique and seeing how it is because I go into the gym and get bigger, get more ripped, whatever is cool, but it's not the most important thing in the world, you know what I mean? So try and appreciate yourself for where you're at because think about where you're at right now from compared to when you first started. You know I mean, you would have killed whatever physique you've got right now when you first started. So realise how far you've came, right? And just another kind of thing, right, to show you, like, lighting matters so much. I pump matters so much, like, so here's me, and here's my stomach and shit lighting. I just look flat up and down, don't look like I've got anything. Take a few steps back, definition, tense my stomach, somewhat of abs comes out. Again, I'm not as ripped as I was, I mean, but like that slight step back, and I look 10 things better. So this is me, tensing, etc. Stepping forward, nothing. So, don't compare physique to these people you see online because they're setting unrealistic expectations. Even myself, I edit my photos to make them look as best as possible, change the brightness, all the fucking filter, etc, etc, to try and look my best because that's just how competitive social media is with your physique pictures. So if you're watching this client who I will not name, you're in good shape than now, you're already in better shape than you were five to six months ago since you've been training, back since COVID and stuff. So I appreciate where you're at right now. The journey is the best part. Right now, I find it quite hard to go and make consistent big gains and just because I've been training for such a long time and I used to love when you've seen changes week in, week out. So enjoy the journey because if you enjoy the journey, you get to the final destination and be much happier the full way instead of just waiting to the final destination to be happy. That was a lengthy one, but hopefully that helped.